Okay, here's our cubed butter. And uh, what we're gonna do is put that in the microwave. We're gonna leave it on high. I'm gonna give it two minutes. Um, I would normally start with one minute, but this is a huge bowl of butter. Um, all, I took uh, three, three and a half pounds of Amish butter. I cubed it up into one inch chunks and I put it in a deep glass bowl. This is like a mix master bowl, it's probably like six or six inches deep. And even though the butter is coming right to the top, I'm a little concerned about that, but it's gonna um, melt down and I think it's probably gonna end up being like halfway before it starts to foam up. So um, I'm gonna um, put the camera down. I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I'm gonna give it two minutes. We'll take a look at it and then I'll, I'll decide if it needs more. And I'll show you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it to foam up and just come to the boil but you don't want it to boil and burn. So we're just gonna watch it very carefully. All right, here it goes, first two minutes. I'll check it when it's done. All right, it's been two minutes and I'm just starting to see some melting at the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna give it another two minutes and just keep an eye on it. That's all you can do is just take it, it depends on how much butter you're melting. Uh, you don't wanna stir it, that's very important. You're letting the, the butter uh, melt down of its own accord and come to a slight boil until it bubbles up. And what will happen is the milk solids will um, foam up on the top and the solid butter will be underneath that. And at the very bottom, there will be some um, like uh, water. So we're gonna give this another two minutes um, and I'm gonna might give it two more. I'll let you know how, many, how much uh, time it ultimately took for this three and a half uh, pounds of butter. Thank you, bye. I don't know if you can see this. I can see it a little bit, but it's, not really the most easy microwave. <laughs> it's got that, I don't know what that screen is, but you can't really see what's in there. So it's kind of, you can kind of see it a little bit, I guess, bubbling. <clears throat> the thing is, once I open the door, it's going to subside really fast. So I think after two minutes, I'm just going to open it, see what happens. And again, if this doesn't work, um, it doesn't separate for whatever reason, you could just add more time to it. It's not a big deal. I'm just being careful. I'm seeing some bubbles now. Just being careful because I don't want to burn it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this open see if we can see it. Oh, yeah, we got some bubbling going on there. And I'm seeing a lot of um, white coming to the top. I want to give it, I got another minute. I'm going to give it another minute. Because <clears throat> you want it to separate till it's like, like foamy. It'll form like a, a foam, and uh, you just skim that off, and that's you don't put that in. That's the milk solids, <clears throat> so they're actually starting to separate. I wish I could see it better for you, but all right, I'm gonna shut this off so I can grab it. All right, it's about five minutes later. Um, everything's kind of settled. There's not a lot of white, as much um, white um, milk protein on the top as I would see like in a lesser quality butter, but I can definitely see the separation. Like, I don't know, if you look at the bottom of the bowl, you can see kind of a definite um, yellowy, clear, like a water, like a clear um, butter. And then underneath that, there's another layer of like solids. So what the next step is, I'm gonna, um, first of all, take a, a spoon and just very carefully um, skim, skim that um, white, uh, the top layer of white um, protein off. So hold on one second while I just get this out of the way. All right, I'm getting ready to skim the top layer off of the butter. And um, you want to be careful not to agitate it because you don't want to remix everything up again. You just um, did the separation process in the microwave and you want to keep it separated. So all I'm going to do, and I'm sorry, sorry for the shadows, I don't have the right lighting probably. But <clears throat> I'm just going to go in here, kind of skim it, you know, and you're going to get a little butter too, but that's all right. I'm going to put that in a bowl. I'm not going to throw that away. I'll use that for cooking. So this is really good butter, and we don't want to waste any. So I'm just going to carefully skim and just, you know, take your time. You could put it again, so you get too much butter. You don't want to throw that much into the scrap bowl. So you kind of very carefully hold it against the side of the bowl. It just sort of um, kind of drain off as much butter as you can. So like that. 
All right, so we're going to grab the rest of this. Again, I'm not really seeing, I'm doing this through the camera. <laughs> so I don't know. And it's not the end of the world if you don't get it all, you know, don't go crazy. The reason why we do it again is just so that the butter, the um, can of butter will be more potent because the cannabis, the uh, cannabinoids in the cannabis um, are oil based. So they bind with oil and they do not bind with water. And you want to keep the um, water out of your, um, out of your butter because that doesn't taste good. It makes your um, makes your baked goods kind of taste kind of like potty, <laughs> kind of bong flavored, bong water flavored. So basically, this just makes for a better butter. And if you're gonna like, you know, put a lot of cannabis material in your butter, it's an investment in your medicine and you know baking. You don't want to give people like baked goods that are made with you know. Margarine. I mean, you can do this with margarine. Don't get me wrong. Any oil. You can extract cannabis into any oil. But if I'm going to do it, I'll go ahead and I'll get like, I'll get like, ex you know, the good stuff. Because I'm going to probably make about, after I'm done, I'll probably have like three cups of butter, which is about three pounds of butter. Then I'm going to make sure I have, I'm going to have to have an equal amount of uh, cannabis bud trim dried because uh, that has to be completely covered with butter. So the butter has to equal the cannabis, the dried cannabis material. So you don't really need a recipe. It's all about um, ratios at this point. All right. So this is what we're doing. All right, I'm just going to get a little more. <laughs> draconian here because I don't have all day you don't have all day we'll just get this done here we go got most of it out I'm happy with how this is right now the next step will probably eliminate I'm going to take a, a, a ladle and I'm going to ladle off the yellow the pure butter part into a uh, measuring cup and I'm going to let that <clears throat> firm up I just want I'm doing that basically to see how much butter I have and for my recipes and then I can take that and pour it into like equal size portions so that when I bake, I'm, I'm not having to like re-melt re the butter and pour it in a measuring cup. I know, like when you buy a stick of butter at the grocery store, it's all marked off. And you're not gonna have that with this kind of a butter and it's hard for recipes unless you have a scale to you know measure your butter. And I don't, I have, I've just always relied on the size of the package <laughs> on the butter. So this is just going to give me a little bit of um, precision when I do my recipes because otherwise I'm not going to know. I mean, I might, I will have to go through another step. And now I get the butter liquefied, I might as well measure it, put it in pre-measured packets so I can use it for recipes and not have to think about it anymore. So that's what I'll do. All right, so this is uh, not entirely milk protein free, but... What's really more important, I think, is whatever the heck's in the bottom. That's all water. The water goes to the bottom. The oil floats to the top. So we took a, as much of that white stuff as we could get off. Not really going to worry about it. All right. So now we have a measuring cup. <coughs> I have a ladle. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Hey. So, um... <laughs> We finally, I've separated out the um, butter from the solids. And now we have a, a bowl with just mostly solids. There's a little bit of butter, just a very fine, it's a very thin little, you know, bit of butter in there. So I'm not going to throw that out. I'm just going to throw that in a plastic container and stick it in the fridge. I can use that for cooking. I can put it in recipes. I can uh, probably make mashed potatoes or something out of it. So I'm not going to throw it away. And then we have... Just over four cups of clarified Amish butter. So that looks really nice. We're gonna get a lot of recipes out of that. That's like two, that'll fit one uh, quart size ball jar full of butter. Uh, so we're gonna need like a quart size ball jar full of material. So it's gonna be a lot of material too, a lot of cannabis. Um, so I'm gonna go, uh, the next step for me will be to clean up a, bu a bunch of, uh, like a quart size jar of um, cannabis material. I don't know what that weighs, probably a couple ounces maybe. But um, so I'm going to use some really high quality frosty trim. 
and I'm going to try to make the strongest butter I can because I can freeze this and, and I can make a lot of recipes out of this. So it's kind of a lot of work, but you only do it every, every once in a while. So I'll be back when I'm um, ready to show you the material and how I prepare that, and then uh, we'll put it in the Instapot.